inspection of the KSI SQC38 CNC Swiss lathe. Machine is a 2006. In very nice condition. This machine has a GE Fanuc 18 ITB control, which is a fiber optic control with the, uh, the side door. It has nine live tool capability. I'll do a quick walk around, parts conveyor. This is set up for an IAMCA magazine bar loader. Go down and show you the serial number plate. Four three eight zero seven seven eight eight, which actually makes it a two thousand and seven. The Finuc drives. This machine does have a work light. Nice set of tooling for the collets and guide bushings. Leveling pads. These are bushings for the bar loader. And that's the uh, for the subspinal ejector. Right now, there you have it set up with a feed out the end of the tube. Okay, let's uh, open up the doors so we show you the inside. And we'll show you the inside of the work zone first. Five turning tools, four rotary tools, one's offset for slotting, five position end working and back working tool position. Three position end working. I think the first two positions are live or rotary. Sub spindle. And a four position back working. I think two of them are live and two of them are fixed in any combination of that. I'll we'll show you the inside work zone of the headstock. The back of the guide bushing. End nut on the main spindle. The ways appear to be in excellent condition. Spline gear for the synchronized spindle and guide bushing. And the loop system. As you can see, the inside of this machine is very clean. And we're going to go ahead and run the machine. In the main spindle, we'll run all the spindles first, including the sub and the uh, live tooling. So we'll do that first and this is going to be at 1000 rpm and I am about six inches away from the spindle and as you can see the belt running for the synchronous rotary guide bushing. 3000 rpm coming up and again I'm still six inches away from the spindle. <clears throat> This is at 5,000 RPM. Sounds very good, and I'm still five inches away from the spindle. Okay, now we're going to 1,000. Are we going to which one? The live tools? Okay, we're going to do the live tools on the main, on the X1, Y1.
That is 1,000 RPM. Is that correct? I'm about five inches away from the spindles. There's no collet <coughs> tools or nuts on these at this time. Is that what RPM? Yeah, low, slow. Try to run them at another level of RPM here. Sorry for the slowness here. This is running at what? This is running at 3,000 RPM. I'm about four inches away, three inches. Okay. And then we're going to go to the sub spindle side and I'm going to run the sub spindle. <clears throat> RPM. I am about four inches away from the sub spindle. This is at 4,000 RPM. And again, I'm about four inches away. And as you can see, the live tools are synchronous to the the live tools are synchronous to the sub spindle. So as the rotary tools, as the sub spindle turns, these first two rotary tools turns at the same RPM. Okay, we're going to the back working live tools. Okay, we are running right now these first two live tools. There are four positions, and the first two are rotary and they're synchronized together, and they are 2,000 RPM. And again, I am about three inches away from them right at this point. So two fixed and two rotary, or the combination you can add another fixed and one rotary or all four fixed. And this is at 4,000 RPM. Again, I'm three or four inches away. Sounds very quiet. And these are all standard ER16s. Okay. And we'll go through the jog mode right now. This is the main spindle being jogged in the Z1. Okay. This is moving forward into the, this is going to be the X1, Y1, X, 
slides are very quiet. Ball screws sound very good at this point. And this is going to be moving in the Y axis. You can hardly tell, tell the machine's moving. Again, I'm only about five inches away from the slides. You can't even hear them moving. Go ahead. This is for the subspindle, the Z2. This is moving in the Y axis. I'm sorry, the X2 axis, my apologies. And again, I'm only five or six inches away from the slides. Okay. And this is going to be the Z2. And with a parts conveyor. See the parts conveyor moving right here. This concludes the machine side of the KSI SQC38 CNC Swiss turning center. Now we're going to take a walk over and take a quick peek at the bar loader. This is an IAMCA. This is a, an IAMCA 551E. Also in excellent looking shape. Got a, the nose and the synchronization mechanism for the headstock. We'll open up the doors here. Got a parts tray, crank handle for opening manually. It has the controller. And the inside, all of it looks in excellent condition. Remnant retract. As you can see, there's a 43 millimeter guide channel in the machine now. And that's for maximum capacity of 38 millimeters on the machine. And it also has a light tower. This concludes the inspection of the KSI 38SQC38.